John Robert Williams saying, no post processing is equal to putting groceries on the dinner table and, oh, the chef never cooked the food. I guess, I guess we, we don't, don't need, need chefs, chefs. <laughs> you know? And I also think that's, is it the name raw file? is a great name for the file format yes because it is a raw file think of it like cooking to where if you have ingredients that are raw and then you cook them they'll be better right the the meal will be better sometimes you want to eat it you know raw and sometimes it will work but most of the times you want to cook the file and you want to enhance it and you want to add those little spices or flavors to it and that's why you know editing a raw file is great because it's like I mean, that's a raw file is back in the day is like a negative file. It's just you're taking the negative. You're just taking the, the readout of the what it was recorded on film or the readout of what was recorded on your sensor and you're going to process it. That's all it's doing. And that's what that's what you have to do as a photographer. And I think people like to think that there's some magic button that's in the camera that somehow makes our photos like just process and it's like no it's work it's you have to process your photos but the point that we were really want to make today and and to, to help help you down the road is this you're you're only going to be able to do so much in camera yes and 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 realizing that and realizing that the real magic happens after the photo is made right yeah so understand this you can make your photo darker or brighter you can make the background in focus or out of focus and you can show motion or freeze action. That's what you do with those three things. They don't, it doesn't create great photographs. Things that create great photographs are composition, are capturing a particular moment, right? Sometimes you'll see something happen that's amazing. You're capturing an amazing moment. Light, beautiful light can make a really interesting photo. Those are all great. And you wanna open it up in Lightroom or in Photoshop and look at it and go, hey, this is a pretty good photo. And then you add Lightroom or Photoshop and it becomes a great photo. You want to start with a good photo. So don't, I don't want anyone to leave this episode of the grid and, and Eric, yeah. say, Eric and Scott said, I don't have to worry about how it looks in the camera. No, no you want to start with a good photo. Well composed, reasonably exposed, not super noisy, not, you know, out of focus. You want it to be sharp, but if you can give me, good starting place i can get you to an incredible image and it's just like in cooking you start with good ingredients yeah better meal at the end fresh that's ingredients. what it is you need you need to start with a good photo to get a great photo <laughs>